Musk reaction on the Apple iCar. Hello, welcome back to Luxury Life, where we talk about the luxurious lifestyles of the rich and famous. With the new Apple iCar being released, Elon surely has something to say about it. If you enjoy watching our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you get updated whenever we upload new videos. With Elon Musk Tesla delivering 241,300 electric vehicles in the third quarter of 2021 and generating a $1.1 billion profit in the second quarter, other tech firms are attempting to enter the electric vehicle market. Apple, a trillion-dollar software corporation, has employed over 1,000 automobile specialists and engineers to create its own electric vehicle, the iCar. And Elon Musk, the undisputed king of the electric car industry, has something to say about it. Elon Musk tweeted on December 22, 2020, So how will the iCar change the game of electric vehicles? And should Elon Musk be concerned about the Tesla being overshadowed? Elon Musk tweeted on December 22, 2020, stating that he had sought out Apple CEO Tim Cook during some of the toughest days of the Model 3 program. He had urged him to buy his now trillion dollar firm, Tesla, for one-tenth of its present worth. However, the CEO of Apple did not even bother to attend a single meeting to debate this suggestion. I've never talked to Elon, although I have enormous affection and respect for the company he's developed. Cook subsequently said, without confirming or rejecting, the story. I believe Tesla has done an incredible job of not just establishing but also maintaining the lead in the EV industry for such a long period of time. Elon also spoke about the lithium-ion phosphate batteries that Apple was reported to be developing for its self-driving cars. He mentioned that Tesla already employs iron phosphate batteries in their mid-range vehicles manufactured at their Shanghai manufacturing. So if the report is true, he finds it odd because Tim Cook declined to attend a meeting to purchase a firm whose automobiles utilize the same battery that he intends to employ in the iCar. Elon Musk appears to be concerned about Apple's ambitions. Another instance was when he made a dig at a Silicon Valley neighbor on a conference call to discuss Tesla profits. He discussed how Tesla's objective is to encourage the development of sustainable energy rather than to build a walled garden to stifle competition. He then gave a phony cuff and remarked, You got it, Apple. One of the primary reasons being that Apple had put a significant number of talents from Tesla. This includes Doug Field, an Apple veteran who worked as Tesla's senior vice president of engineering for five years before returning to lead Apple's autonomous car project. What challenges does Apple face as compared to Tesla? Tesla is not only the market leader in electric automobiles. Its best-selling vehicles, the Model Y and Model 3, outsell all other EV manufacturers combined. So what makes Tesla so successful in comparison to other electric vehicle manufacturers? There are several reasons for this. But one big one is the priority Tesla has placed on nationwide fast-charging stations that are being developed in tandem with the cars. Fast-charging stations are required for the car to flourish according to the conclusions of a thorough study of the electric vehicle market performed by management specialists from the University of California and Dartmouth College. In the United States, there are around 4,000 high-voltage superfast charging stations, the majority of which are solely accessible to Tesla vehicles. Many other electric car manufacturers overlook the significance of charging stations and, as a result, are not as successful. If Apple intends to compete with Tesla, it must take this into account. Tesla has been producing electric vehicles since 2008, but Apple is new to the automobile market. Furthermore, the iCar was supposed to be delivered in 2024, but because of the coronavirus epidemic, reports claim it may be delayed until 2025. While Apple has no expertise in constructing vehicles, it is quite adept at figuring out challenges. According to an Apple employee, if there is one firm on the globe with the capacity to build an autonomous automobile from the ground up, it is most likely Apple. An automobile, on the other hand, is not the same as a telephone. What technologies will the iCar employ, and will it compete with Tesla? Of course, a car produced by the world's most valuable technology business 
is likely to be significantly more technologically advanced than any other autonomous vehicle. The Apple automobile is projected to be filled with so much technology and new hardware and software that it will be the first entirely autonomous vehicle, needing minimum to no work from the driver in traveling from one location to another. It is also rumored that other Apple gadgets, like the Apple Watch, would play a significant part in the vehicle's operation. If Apple can realize its ambition of creating a fully driverless vehicle, it may be able to overtake Tesla, which has failed to deliver on its promise of fully autonomous vehicles. So solving the problem of self-driving cars is Tesla's top priority. But it isn't going to be simple. Musk himself confessed that it is far more difficult than he anticipated. Apple is in an unusual position to attack Tesla, but it is uncertain if it will do so. It all comes down to who is the first to realize the objective of completely autonomous vehicles. And that's it for today's video. We hope you liked what you watched. Feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you get updated whenever we post new videos. Luxury Life is on Facebook too. Don't forget to follow and like our official Facebook page. See you in our next video.